Shalom Israel. I want to deal with Israel being the only nation that Jesus called, peace be upon him, the devil. John 8.44 You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. So here is a scripture where Jesus is calling the southern kingdom the devil. If you pay attention to reading the Bible, you'll understand that only the southern kingdom of Israel called Jesus the devil. Pilate had more respect for Jesus, peace be upon him, than some of the Israelites. And that is Bible truth. Now I want to deal with this lie that is going on in these Israelite camps. When we say the white man is the devil. That is not scriptural. Now, it is scriptural to say Esau is the wicked. All right. And that's Malachi 1, 4. All right. We know that the white race of people whether you identify them as Esau or whatever, however you identify them is, they have been the race of people that has done us evil. Okay. But there is no scripture backing on that. All right. To be biblically correct, when Jesus was here on earth, the nation he called the devil was the southern kingdom of Israel. All right. John the Baptist did this as well in the book of Luke chapter 3 and verse 8. He said, do not begin to think within yourselves. We have Abraham to our father. For God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. John the Baptist was getting on... Israel's racial pride. Okay. And it's the same today. Um, racial pride. Is one of the greatest forms of evil. This is one of the reasons why Israel is not a nation today. Israel, according to Deuteronomy 7, 6, was set high above all nations of people. And Israel was brought low through breaking God's commandments. All right. Israel was a test for us. Israel was a type of the devil. His story is similar to the story they say of Satan. How he was God's masterpiece. And how he was so exalted that he fell through pride. And that's the same way the nation of Israel fell. They fell through pride. Israel is the pride, the definition of pride. Um, I want to go to Revelations 2, 9 and 3, 9, because this scripture is a metaphor. And a lot of the brothers in the Israelite camps, they bring this out. Um, for the fake Jews, they say. Um, and they say this is identifying the fake Jews. And they bring out scriptures like Zechariah 9, 6. Where the Bible says a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. Okay. Um, but they also bring out. Revelations 2, 9, 3, 9. All right. I want to debunk that in just a few seconds. I'm going to debunk that. Now, in Revelations 2, 9, it reads, I know your works, tribulation, and poverty, but you are rich, 
And I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Now, the Edomites did not have a synagogue. Um, the nation of Israel did. Now, the southern kingdom only called Jesus the devil. All right. So Jesus called the southern kingdom the devil and it stuck. From John all the way to the book of Revelation. All right. He is speaking to the Jews. The Jews was giving his church issues. All right. So even if we was to look at this um, in the chapter three of verse nine, and I'm just pointing this out in your own Bible, from your own Bible, Revelations three, nine, indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. That again is speaking to the Jews. All right. The Jews lost the kingdom. The Jews were brought low. The Jews were cast out of their land. Just like Jesus casting out devils, that was a symbol and a sign of Jesus casting out Israel. All right. God cast out Israel. He allowed his lovely temple to be destroyed and he cast his people out because Israel was a test. Israel was a type of the devil. And according to the Bible, Jesus only called the Southern Kingdom devils. He called them vipers. He told them, woe unto you who killed the prophets. The nation of Israel was the most wicked nation on the face of the earth, being trusted with the angels law that was given from the most high and did not keep it. They transgressed time and time. They are so wicked, so disobedient, so complaining from the time he brought them out of Egypt. They was already complaining when he was giving them the laws. They was making a golden calf. God always wanted to wipe Israel out from the beginning when he told Moses, which was a type and shadow of Mohammed, peace be upon him. He said, let me kill them. Let my anger wax hot against them, and I will make of you a great nation. That's when he was speaking to the actual Moses, but he actually did the same thing with the real Moses, Mohammed, peace be upon him. The Bible, the Torah, all the scriptures foretell of him. You can find Jesus in the Quran, and you can find Mohammed in the Bible. I learned of Islam from being in the Bible, studying the Bible for over 19 plus 20 years. And I came to Islam through the Bible. Okay. Israel was a test for us. Revelations 2, 9, 3, 9, John 8, 44 is proof, my brothers, that Jesus only called his own people, the Southern Kingdom, the devil. The kingdom of God has been taken from Israel, my brothers, and given to a fruitful nation. And that fruitful nation is Ishmael and that religion is Islam. Mohammed, peace be upon him, is the Gentile messenger. He is the donkey whom God opened his mouth. Israel would have never thought God would use a Gentile messenger. But here we have it. What is what we what do we what is the knowledge in this? Is that God will pull down the rich and the prideful, and he will exalt them of low degree. All right. 
There's always been sneak peeks all through the Bible of the other nations coming in from Ruth to Jael. All right. All even Rahab. She was a picture of the Arabs coming in, taking the kingdom from Israel. All right. So wake up. Come home to the truth. All y'all saying y'all in the truth. Y'all in a lie. It's a shame. All these Israelite camps everywhere. You're all fighting to be Israelites. You're all fighting to be something that the real saints of the Most High was trying to be done away with. They didn't go by as Israelites. They went by saints. Okay. Jesus did not practice the religion of Judaism. He didn't practice Christianity. He practiced Islam. When they tried to make him a king, by force, he ran to the mountain. All right. Because Jesus never called himself a king. He knew that to be a king was a wicked thing. All right. From the prophet Samuel. That's what's wrong with y'all. A lot of y'all brothers, y'all run around here calling yourself um, king, king, king. You don't even know it was a wicked thing to even ask for a king. Okay. And that's why God gave us Saul which was a type of the nation of Israel. And he rejected Israel, just like he rejected Saul. And he rose up a neighbor who is Mohammed, peace be upon him. He is the real David with the 10,000, the 10,000s followed David, the 10,000s followed Mohammed when he entered into Mecca. All right. So wake up. Stop being blind, Israel.